Well, western Minnesota was hit particularly hard tonight. Lots of damage reports coming in out of Stevens County. Yeah, joining us live right now, uh, Sheriff Jason Dingman of Stevens County. So thanks so much for taking the time. I know you're running on a generator right now where you are. Tell us about what you've been seeing throughout Stevens County tonight. Yeah, uh, we have no power in the entire county. Um, all of the cities within our county are without power. We have multiple buildings uh, that are damaged or destroyed, hundreds of trees and power lines down. Um, thankfully, though, we, we only have two injuries uh, out of this that we know of at this point, um, no fatalities. Um, it was it was really nasty here, but I think we're, we're uh, in the cleanup stages at this point. Sheriff Dingman, tell us what time you saw this start in Stevens County and, and what was it like in the middle of all of those strong winds and the, and the stormy weather? Um, I think I went out about 630 to do, uh, you know, the storm spotting and I, I drove right into the middle of it and it, it was it was hurricane force winds. Uh, it seemed to be straight line winds. Um, I watched um, metal sheds being blown through fields it was it was crazy it luckily it only lasted you know a few short minutes um the really strong stuff but um there was a lot of damage here in stevens county yeah even i talked to somebody who uh, lives in morris tonight and he said he he saw what he described he said it kind of looks like a war zone even in town trees down you can't get past uh on the roads and you talked about some of the the structures and the buildings even uh, within within the town that have been damaged severely. Yeah, multiple uh, buildings damaged. Uh, like I said, trees blocking roadways. We have crews working on uh, getting those cleaned up right now, so the power companies can get to what they need to uh, get to to fix. All right, well you got power on. a lot on your hands. Yeah, you, you mentioned you're running on a generator right now. So does that mean everything's okay with the dispatch center and emergency responders? Correct. We're sitting good right now. Um, we're gonna need fuel soon, but we're working through that right now. Um, hopefully to get our tanks filled up here to keep keep the power going to the dispatch center. All right, well, we'll let you get back uh, to work here. We really appreciate you taking the time with us tonight. All right, thank you, thank Sheriff you. Dingman from Stevens County. Well, tonight's